I didn't really want to go to like see actresses on stage because the problem with the stage is you can't really see them. We're just going to go upstairs to meet the superstar, action star, Michael Worth. He was in uh, a film called, do you know what, I can't remember it, but it had lots of fighting in it. So we want to talk to him about fighting. I want to have somebody who fights in this film, but who doesn't fight me. So we've got to go and find out if he's a cunt or not. I'm going to go in with my shades on so he knows I'm the boss. Okay, what did he say? What did he say? 37. In fact, this part of it is more important than the film itself. The process. The process of making a film. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Michael Wood? Hello, sir. Hi. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Good, 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 come on in. My, my crew here. Oh, hey, hey, come on in, yeah, come on in, right in. Come on in, guys. I hope you don't mind, we just want to make sure that um, we want to shoot him. I'm making the film of the making of my film. Is it possible to start with a glass of wine? I don't do that. And how's, how's the film going for you? Film, the film mm -hmm. is, going, is going good. And what, what character are you playing in this film? I play Michael. He's um, a warrior in, in a village that is under attack from a, a dragon. And um, he's That's excellent. Yeah, he's like the alpha male of the of the village. What does that mean? The alpha male is the kind of is a is a, a dominant male. He likes to he likes to keep his hierarchy within within a group of males to say that he is the top dog. Like the director. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Just so beautiful. <laughs> just can't believe I'm sitting here with you. You know how big your film was in Hollywood? Um... You know the deal, right? Uh, Three months pre-production. Okay. I want to make a film where you're a superstar. Right. And I've got some ideas. Right. But we're gonna get there in a minute. I want to cover some politics first. Which is the biggest, uh action star that you've worked with? Uh, biggest action star? Like on height? Yeah. I'm interested in you in this film because the producer spoke to me and he said there's this fantastic actor and he's got blue eyes. Right. And I was thinking about having a character with blue eyes in my film. What was your best IMDB rating? Um, IMDB rating? I don't, I don't actually keep track on that. Why not? Uh did you train as an actor? Did you just train as a fighter? Yeah, no, no, no. I, I trained as an actor, um, and and that's why I heard about your your thing. I was really interested in your your movie because I felt like it would really help me. I've done a lot of I've done a lot of karate stuff, you know, martial arts stuff in my background. I feel like it'll help my fan base. Woo! I trained some of this stuff for the workout. The um, your movie is about what now? I don't want you to fall in love with me. All right. Okay. No, that's fine. I won't no, fall in love with you. It's gonna be a long shoot. Yeah, that's fine. I won't fall in love with you. It's fine. No joking. I mean it. Because I know in about a week or two, you start feeling about me. I feel I can talk to you openly because we've already done the contract. Yeah, well, I, I didn't mean. I haven't actually signed anything yet. I'm not sure what the film's going to be about yet. But I've got an international superstar coming in, and I don't know if you've seen the film, it's called Two Hurricanes and a Cyclone. Uh, her name is Marissa Delamere, and she was in a film called Two Hurricanes and a Cyclone. Make sure we get the contract signed. Uh, you don't know what the film is? I don't, I'm working completely organic from the ground, <coughs> like earth, organic, bio shit, right. so that it grows through the people I meet. Now I'm looking at you and I already want to call this character Blue Eyes with rusty nails. Would you ever... Oh! I was clearing the chi a little bit, you know, you gotta get out. Yeah, yeah I think I gotta go as well in a minute. The best acting moment in your life ever? Um, the best acting moment, it's very hard to specify a particular moment because I think every job has great moments in it, you know? <clears throat> but, um... Would you give that credit? To the director, or do you take it on yourself? Of course, you have to give credit to, to the director. Of course, you know the director that sets the tone for the whole kind of cast and, and, and the whole the whole project. It all stems from him. Right. So every yeah, of course, massive credit goes to the director in any project. Yeah. 
Sometimes I just get lost. <laughs> you don't need to get lost. It's nice though. I sometimes will say, why don't you sit there, I'll give you a line, we shoot it. Okay. And if it works, it ends up in the film. If, you fight, if I'm not alpha, you won't be in the film. Do you want to ask me any questions to the director? I think it's important that you know all about me. I, I, I have got a girlfriend, but I dumped her before I came here. Do you ever try to sleep with the lead actress? You mean outside the movie? I, I just don't want you to, if he goes for you, I don't want you to, you know what I mean? Because I'm the director. If he goes for me? Yeah, because, you know, he's an actor and that's what the actors do. When you fight on a set, mm -hmm. like a real, like a theme, you know how many calories you burn when you like listen to music and you move? It's, it's, it's like you can burn an extra like 500, 600 calories a day. Really? I burn a lot of calories when I eat curry. Because I go to the toilet after, it absolutely rips me in half. He wants to be in the flame. So okay. I'm so happy. Who, who is it? I can't tell you his name. Okay. Right. Yes, because he hasn't totally agreed to do it yet. But he's going to show me some shit. Right. And I want to. See, I've seen a couple of his films. Right. And I can't wait because he's done like he had like anyway. It's a long story, but basically he worked with Jackie Chan once. Have you ever kicked the shit out of anybody on set? Twice. Have you ever punched somebody on set? No. That's good. But it's really heavy shit, dude. I want drama to the lowest level so that people can really suck it up and spit it out, you know? Yeah, because I want to do some drama. That's See, I feel like... Wait a second. Wait a second. Action! I'm going to do it. And it breaks up the subconscious to the point where it's confusion you. And that confusion you is acting. This is about to work, this film. Of course. I want you to sell it to me with your soul and your heart and those boobs. I just want them in the film. Got a couple of actors coming in tonight. I want you to do a little role play with me. And you'll feel me. You will feel me inside you. I just want to pretend that we're doing an acting scene. Um, you would lo it's the way it works. If you fight scene, you know, what you do is you've got certain parts of the body that are deadly. Like this is deadly. Right. These can be deadly. This is acting, right? And if I really drilled you on set, would you be okay with that? If you drilled me, like... Like, getting you ready for the scene. Oh, what, you mean like, if you... Like, really give you a drilling about the scene. Do you sit up? And... Wait a second, yeah. There we go. Okay. Do you sit up? And... Action. You're pregnant. It's your baby. Oh! No, that's too I, much. I'm, I'm sorry. That, that was a little bit of con that was just a little bit of contact. Thank you for coming. Shame you didn't finish your wine. Well, yeah. I no, it's fine. Okay. But thank you so much, and we'll take care. Okay. And I'm going to talk to you maybe tonight to come in and meet people. I want to bring this actor in now. Just do a little role. Play. I'm going to meet him. Yeah, he's going to come in. Just he's coming now. Not too long. We're just going to do a small role play. Bryce. Hello. How are you, Bryce? Yeah. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. I met Bryce on set the other day. Okay. Hello. He invited me on He's doing a film here about the Twister. Right. In the Middle Ages in New York. This is weird. <coughs> You're from America? Yeah, from LA. Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah. Okay. Thank anyway, you. thanks. As soon as she walks in the door, we'll get into it. Yeah, yeah, no, I think it's a good idea. And that's excellent. If you close your eyes a second, please. You're on a small island. You're working in a hospital. You're a nurse. He's a patient. He's got a broken leg that you might have to amputate. 
you've just heard on the news that there's volcanic ash serious shit going on. So now airplanes can fly around, right? You know what volcanic ash is? Hey. Sweetheart, come here. Hi. Just come over here, don't stay. Sorry, I'm a bit out of breath those stairs. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, just come over here, we're just going to set this up. I don't want you to meet him until. When you do the scene with him, I'm going to pretend it's me. Okay. At the same time, you've got a hurricane category 11 coming in from Panama. In real life, it only goes up to category 10. Why am I not doing it? Your broken leg. Oh my, yeah, I broke my leg and it was hurting a little bit. Right. And it's just, yeah, my leg. Yeah, I know. I told you just to keep it up. And in the end, you have to leave this scene because you've decided to try and swim to Cuba. It's where I'm going to bring in Steven Seagal from a submarine. That's the most different scene, but this is the important scene. He's in hospital, he's got a broken leg, you've got to... Oh, there's going to be a hurricane on the way. Oh my god, a hurricane! Just going for a shit. That's terrible, there's a hurricane. Yeah. So I'm a, a guy with a broken leg that's on an island next to Cuba. And it, it's a 50 mile swim, a 50 mile swim to Cuba. Funny the fact that he, he was just call it, I think, and he's like flung me you know, out and everything. And it all goes out and I'm just kidding. Big Hurricane 11 coming in. Category 11. That's called Hurricane Rubinda. Hurricane okay. Rubinda. It's named after my grandmother. I didn't get it. Michael, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We well, could Michael put Michael. your shirt on now and we can maybe introduce each other. That would be great. Yeah, that would be good. Okay, oh, sure. Really, look at me, sweetheart. It's me and you. I really want to get into it, you know? I don't want to just go straight and be like in great hotel. I want to be in Bulgaria. It's dirty. It's messy. It's like Bollywood. It's spunky. When are we going to find out like, more about the project? I'll talk to you in a minute, sweetheart, okay? Right. I was being followed by another studio in Bollywood. They wanted me to do another film. I wanted to be creatively free. And I just think, you know, they got a little bit heavy. It's like an Indian mafia. The fucking crazy bastards down there, they fuck you up, shit. I know you can hurt me. Huh? I know you can hurt me. Yeah. But I'm alpha. 